Hello students, Mr. Waterman and Ms. Harris here again with the next cooking lesson. So right now I am going to make up a side dish. What are those? These are mixed beans. We have garbanzo beans, we have white beans, and we have our red beans, which we also know as kidney beans. And I'm going to be doing this in my trusty saucepan that we have been using in so many other videos. It has been getting a lot of good use. A lot of good use. Lots and lots of good use. Okay, so now this is very, very simple, as all of our dishes have been. So we have not one but two boxes of these mixed beans here. You, I found these in National Supermarket in Hiro. Um, I like this because it's all three types of beans together in one. This is sort of hard to find. You might be able to order this on Amazon if you're looking for it or another site. You might be able to find these beans um, in specialty supermarkets, maybe at your local supermarket. But the only thing is they usually sell them individually. So the white beans are in one box, the red beans are in one box, the garbanzo beans are in another box. Normally I have to buy all three boxes to mix them up. This was my lucky, lucky day when I found this. Okay, so over here, I have chopped up onion, I have chopped up carrots, and I have chopped up tomatoes. I'm going to add these to the beans. Wow. Okay. I'm going to be seasoning the beans today with Laurie's seasoned salt, which I enjoy cooking with very much. And then I'm going to use some black pepper as well for a little bit of extra flavoring. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do, you can look here and you see that there's liquid here that the beans have been packed in. I'm just going to pour out a little bit of this liquid from each box. I'm going to keep some of it in there because it does make quite a nice stock. So I pour about half out, half out from one box. And I'm going to pour half out from another box. And just in case you students are curious about what the sounds are that you hear, we've got the oven going, we've got the pressure cooker going, and we will soon have the stove on and going. Okay. Lots of different delicious dishes cooking at once. So, 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 so much. It smells okay. great. It does. All right, so I have been working with regular extra virgin olive oil, and I have been working with my white truffle flavored extra virgin olive oil. I'm going to go for the white truffle because it's very aromatic, meaning it smells really good. And that might be a test word. That's right. Aromatic. Aromatic is a great test word. I'm going to turn on the heat going to turn it on low. I'm going to add a five second count. Five, four, three, two, one, and stop. And that's how much oil I've put in there. Not very much at all. Not very much at all. And so the next thing that I'm going to do, is I'm just gonna move the oil around just a tiny bit. Okay. And after that, put that there, I'm going to add in my chopped onion, my carrot, and my tomatoes. Okay. I'm going to do this carefully because I don't want to drop anything on the floor. Just adding it in. So Miss Harris and I have spent a lot of time cooking we have together recently and it has been good fun it really has cooking is always fun when you're cooking with friends or family it is and it doesn't have to be for a special occasion or you know 
a holiday. We like doing this because how long have we had online school now, Miss Harris? I think it's been three weeks now. It's been three weeks. It's been almost a month. So we had the idea to do something a little different because it's the end of the school year. And since you all are at home in front of your tablets and computers anyway, we thought it would be good fun for you all to see your teachers cook. And this is a different type of lesson. Because you're learning about math and science, That's right. English. That's right. So don't forget to complete your response sheets after each. Yes, please don't forget to complete those response sheets. And they're not prints. They are worksheets. No, they are not prints. They are called worksheets. I'm not sure who taught the students the word prints. It wasn't. It wasn't us. No. That is not natural English. Not at all. Okay. So while I'm waiting for this to heat up, I'm going to add a little bit of my lorries. I keep opening that side. I did that in another video. I think you did. But that container didn't have this. This is what I was looking for. Okay. You can just sprinkle it out. Miss okay. Harris has Lowry's at her home, too. Lowry's is good, good, good. Very good. Many black families in the United States <laughs> use this. In almost every black household kitchen, you will see this in our kitchen. It's very important. A yes. Very important seasoning. Okay. So now I've got this, and I'm going to just sprinkle... A little bit onto the veggies that wasn't a lot and now I'm going to put two, three four five I was like maybe six turns but I counted it as five and now I can hear I can hear the onion and the tomatoes and the carrots sort of heating up Go. Look at that steam, it's getting warm. That's right. And then I'm going to add my beans into it shortly. And I love having beans as a side dish. I sometimes will have beans in place of rice because beans have a lot of protein and they're very filling. So That's if right. you eat a chicken dish together with beans, it's a great meal. Yeah, lots mm. of protein and energy. Yes. In my family, we have beans and rice. Mm, yes. Red beans and rice is very popular in my family. We had lima beans and white lima beans and white oh, rice. I haven't had lima beans in a long time. And we had black eyed peas and rice as well. Yes, that, we had black eyed peas and rice too. Yes. We can't find lima beans here, can we? I don't think so. I definitely cannot find black eyed peas. No. No, not at all. If Miss Harris and I were in the United States military, like the Army or the, the Navy or the Air Force or the Marines, we could go shopping yes. on the United States military bases. And in their supermarkets, they have everything that we can't get here in Japan. Right. So my friends, our friends, that are in the military here, they're very lucky. Very lucky. And that supermarket is called the Commissary. Yes. And we all know about the Commissary because sometimes if you're lucky enough, sometimes they will take you to the Commissary to shop. Yes. For things from home. That's right. And they have rules at the Commissary too. They do. Just like we have school rules. Exactly. So for example, at the Commissary, Miss Harris and I, we can choose anything we want, but we can't really pick it up off of the shelves and put it in the basket. Mm -hmm. The person from the military that we're with, they have to do that. Miss Harris and I, we can't pay for the items. We have to give that person the money to pay for That's it. That's right. They have very, very specific rules. Okay, so now that this is nice 
and warm. Just stirring it up. Oops, sorry. I'm getting ready to add my beans. And I'm going to pour one box. Now with this, you have to be careful because the beans sometimes get stuck inside. So I'm just going to get my spoon in there to get all the beans out. That's one. Okay. This is two. Great. This is great. This is very, that chicken smells really good, doesn't it? It really does. Okay. This is a perfect meal for winter. For yes. When it's snowing, I think it's going to snow tomorrow. That's right. Are you guys excited about the snow? I'm excited about it. So now I have added the beans. Just mixing it up. Look at all those colors. Right? It's a very colorful side dish. And now what I'm going to do with that, I'm just going to leave it on low heat. And I'm going to put this top on. And I'm going to cook the beans for about, I'm going to check and stir maybe like every five minutes because I don't want them to stick to the saucepan. That's why I added the, um, the truffle. Uh, olive oil and I've mixed it up so even though it's on low heat I still want to check it so it doesn't stick and if it you forget if it starts to stick you just gently take your spoon and you can move the beans around so I left some of the liquid inside because it makes a nice sort of sauce and that's gonna thicken right up that's, a bit. that's right it's going to thicken up and it's going to absorb all of the flavors of the, um, the seasonings and the vegetables that I've put in. And I think I have one more thing up my sleeve that I want to put in. I'm going to throw a little bit of rosemary, this herb in there, because why not? Why not? Here it is. You know nothing in Japan is difficult to open. Of course. You might have to search for it. It might be on the bottom when it's normally on the top, but that's okay. Now these are called, oh, that smell is great. I'm going to add this much. These sprigs of rosemary. Oh, I can smell that from here. Wait until they start to cook in. Then it's really going to be something. I'm just going to take them off of the stem. And then I'm going to stir it in. That's my rosemary. I can smell it. It smells wonderful. That's great. It smells really good. And I'm going to put my lid back on. And there you have it. This is a side dish that you can eat with rice. This is a side dish that you can eat with bread. You can eat it with chicken dishes. You can eat it with pork dishes. You can eat it um, 
by itself because it's very filling and hearty. You know, some people don't eat meat and they don't eat fish. So this would be an ideal sort of meal for a vegetarian. That's and right. you can add your favorite seasonings to it. You can add your favorite vegetables to it if you want. I always like tomatoes, onions, and carrots because of the color contrast they have with the beans that are already different colors as well. You can add different herbs and spices. Go ahead and have a good time with it. Um, you can even have this with toast. That's a very British Ooh. thing to have, beans and toast, isn't it? Have yeah, you ever had beans right. and toast, Miss Harris? I've never had beans and toast. I've had beans and toast. Not with these type of beans. They only use, I believe, baked beans. Baked beans. When they have beans and toast. With the red sauce. With the red sauce. But I would definitely have beans on toast in the winter, right? It's a very sort of hearty A hearty dish, dish yeah. meal, yeah. Now let's see if any of the teachers, the British teachers that we work with, if they agree with us. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> when it comes to this, stay tuned. Stay All tuned. All right, that's it. And I'm going to check it one more time before we end this video. Um, this is probably something that Miss Harris and I are going to have with either the baked chicken or the spare ribs. That is the chicken. If yep, you want barbecue to just chicken. keep this going for a minute, just have a look. Let's have a look here. Ooh. Now I think this probably will need some more time. It'll need a little more time and it'll need a little more sauce to it. Just a bit. Just a bit. And so we're going to do that. And until then, we will see you in the next video. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to fill out your responses. Okay? Mm -hmm. See you soon. See you soon. Bye. Bye.